Are you, are you good with your hair? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Robert Anthony. Today's video is going to take us to the north side or the north unit of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. As part of the road trip that I did in September, I went up to the one of the first stops that I went to after the Picture Rocks National Lakeshore was the Theodore Roosevelt North Unit. Throughout the video, you're going to see great images of sunrise photography, although there wasn't much cloud cover. Uh, I was able to capture some really great photos inside the National Park in the early morning hours. The cottonwood were all yellow in the ravines across the valley in the, in the North Unit and it really made for really special photography. So I'd like to enjoy you to watch, get some good images. I think that you're really gonna like them. And while I'm at it, if you don't mind, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. It would really help me if you'd hit the like button. See, you can like the video right now, because look at this pretty face right here. Right. See, if you like it, it's just because of her. That's all, just hit the like button. That would yeah. be great if you would. Okay. And, and then, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, short little couple minutes of uh, getting some photography and you're going to get some settings in the images too. I know you're going to find it helpful. Hey, thanks for being here. I'm glad that you're around and really appreciate you watching. For Joel, I'm Rob. Let's get to the video. Well, good morning. To quote the... Uh, famous commercial it's time to make the donuts we're gonna head up and uh, hike out and see what we can do for uh, maybe a little sunrise photography over that valley see you in a few hungry for the road all my life thirsty for adventure all my youth chasing all my freedoms down liberty we're here a little bit early, so uh, I'm gonna brush my teeth, maybe make a little coffee or something, kind of kill this headache, I'm hoping. It'll be good, but we have a good good while before it's sun's up and ready in position. But we have a little hike that we have to do too to get there, so I wanna be sure to time everything just right. Conversation Steam coming up off the stove Photographs down the staircase Showing the stories unfold And every time I hear a song My father used to sing to me Sweet words of an Irish lullaby Nothing, uh, I think one of my favorite things of living in the van is getting up and making coffee first thing in the morning. Yep. Coyotes are going crazy out there, so that's a little creepy. Hiking out into the woods. We, uh, I've been all over the place out here, having a heck of a time getting just the right vantage point. I'm gonna have to settle on this spot down here because the sun's about to crest the horizon and uh, I don't, I don't wanna miss that. So we're gonna go down there. We went way over there, way up there. Nothing's working, so I'm, I'm out of time. Well, I've got about 20 minutes maybe before the sun peaks up, so we're gonna we're gonna work this. It was kind of fun listening to the coyotes, but I went, uh, I'll show you. Way over there, way over there, over there. Um, and what ended up being an issue there was it was too low um, in that mountain was blocking the view. So, yeah. There we go.
my good buddy gave me this lens cloth that clicks to my bag. I love this thing. I love having friends that are generous too. way I've got it framed in here, the sun will be over to the far left of the image and um, there will be a lot of the Badlands in the, there will be a lot of the Badlands down in the center of the shop. I think it's all going to be worth it. There's no clouds in the sky so I've dropped the, I've dropped the, the frame down so that there's very little of the sky showing, just enough for the sun to peek up across the top of the horizon because if there's no clouds there's no sense in having a bunch of sky in. You don't want like 50% of the sky and 50% of the ground. That's the way everybody shoots. You, you don't want that. In this situation, a lot more land than uh, sky. If it were reverse and there was a lot of clouds in the sky lighting up, then you'd want a lot more clouds than land. Well, I think, uh, got the shot, I'm gonna show you here. I think that's gonna do it for my trip to, to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Um, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the scenery. I hope you'd, uh, again, give it a thumbs up if you like it, maybe subscribe, maybe you learned a few things. Hey, if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear those in the, uh, in the comment section below. I, uh, I could use some help with regard to, you know, what you want to see, where you want me to go, um, you know, what you might like to, to, uh, to experience. So listen, uh, thanks a lot. Um, as always, uh, I guess that's the end here. Yeah. It is so quiet out here. It's crazy. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, quiet, and just me. So I'm gonna do a little more photography, have a little bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself, like I said. All right, till the next time, this is Rob. I'm out. <laughs>